Hey there friends, thanks for checking in at the range now. And we're going to do a range comparison with the Ruger Max 9 and the MP Shield Plus. A lot of people have taken interest in these guns. Both are double stack, both are new from each manufacturer. And interestingly enough, both were released on the same day. Spring of 2021 is when these guns were released. Let's start with the Max 9. Ruger did a great job when they introduced the Max 9. They jumped into the subcompact double stack mag game that has been so popular with so many shooters. Comes with a 12 round mag as well as a 10 round mag, 3.2 inch barrel. This is the Pro model. It does not have a thumb safety. It is available with a thumb safety. And every Max 9 is optic ready. I've got a sight mark mini shot on here. Now the standard sights are serrated black all metal and a tritium front dot that has a great sight picture. I now have a lot of rounds through the Max 9 and I have really enjoyed it. It's been extremely reliable. I'm measuring the trigger weight at five pounds with a very nice reset. It does have a trigger bar safety in there, but a nice looking, nice firing handgun. Let's go ahead and take some shots and we'll check it out. There we go. The use of the red dot is really nice. And I did a review on this Sightmark Mini Shot and I really like it. It's holding zero just fine since I've had it. It does have front serrations and a very nice trigger. And the one thing I will mention is that it's quite a bit smaller. If we look at the two handguns, the Max 9 loaded with 13 rounds is right around 23 and three quarters ounces as where the shield is over 26 ounces but you know it is what it is now the the shield is a very common platform a lot of people love the shield a lot of people have become comfortable with the original shield back in 2012 was when i got my first one but what they did that i find most impressive with this pistol is that they changed the trigger from a hinged trigger to a flat face trigger i'm measuring five and a quarter pounds but you're looking at your initial pull with a reset right there. And they have a 13 round mag, which is what this is, and a 10 round mag. So the grip is just a little bit wider, but the upper slide is the exact same. I'm actually using an original shield holster right here. So if you have the original shield, holster compatibility will work with the Shield Plus. But since I've owned it, it it's definitely a straight shooter. Uh, as mentioned, a little bit bigger, a little bit heavier. It does have the 2.0 grip texturing on there. Not quite front serrations. You know, the, it has those little indents in the, the front of the slide. Three dot metal sights. It does have a sight hole indicator there. And a pretty nice package. Let's go ahead and take a few shots and we'll see how well I do with the Shield Plus. And there we go. I feel comfortable with both guns, but when we look at them side by side, the user has to decide if they want a little bit of a larger gun, a little bit of a smaller gun, we're talking two premier manufacturers here and both new models that were introduced in the spring. Actually, the, the Max 9 is a new model. The Shield Plus is a shield with a new trigger and higher capacity rounds. I actually like them both, but anybody who's watched my videos before know, knows that if I had to choose one, hands down, I'm going with the Ruger Max 9. Every single Max 9 is optic ready. Whether you decide to use an optic or not, everyone is optic ready. With the Shield Plus, 
you have to get a performance center model and the four inch model to get a slide cut to fit an optic. If you don't care about red dots on handguns, then it's a non-issue for you. But I like options. I also like the front tritium dot that is fiber optic, great for day night purposes. This doesn't have that. Once again, the performance center models offer a lot of options, including porting, night sights, red dots, and everything else, but that really skyrockets the price. Both of these have an MSRP of 550, somewhere in that range, both of them. And so you're not gonna see a great price difference there, but, and you're not gonna see a great shooting difference. But when you look at options, the Max 9 offers more out of the case, unless you go with a performance center. I don't wanna get too redundant there, but that's really what it breaks down to. And if you want a smaller pistol, the Max 9 is it. If you want a pistol on your belt, you know, either of these will work. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. I like the Max 9 more, but I own both. So what I'm wondering is, which one would you choose? And why would you choose that one? Is it a comfort level? Or you just happen to shoot one better than the other? If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.